Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of our worldwide audience. We're here in sunny Folsom, California, where actually it's sunny 365 out of 365. And the rain they have in, Ute, in California, they call it rain. Anybody from Virginia would call it a light mist. So here we are with a forest behind us and all around us. Thought I'd just show you this, where our studio is. We moved all of our studio equipment out today to this uh, beautiful overlook, looking at this forest behind, around us. And we have with us in the studio are two of the missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They are young men serving a full-time mission at, on their, at their own cost, out here to tell people about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, they've kind of consented to spend a few minutes with me, letting me uh, ask them some questions about the church and about their feelings, about what's going on, and so on. So, to start with, I will interview, oh, and on your left is Elder Wood, and on your right is Elder Young. So we will start by interviewing Elder Young. Um, great. Elder Young, thank you for joining us. What have you liked best about your mission so far? I've really liked the growth I've already had. I mean, I haven't been out a very long time, but I've already seen so much growth in my life, and the testimony I have had has grown so much. It's just a lot of growth, and I really like that. And I'm all about, you know, moving on and, you know, improving upon yourself. And I really like the mission you know, for that aspect because there's a lot of growth and developing that, you know, we can do here. Great. Thank you very much. What's the best part about having a companion? Well, you know, Elder Wood and my GC companion, Elder DeWitt, you know, I've really liked having a companion because you know they're always a good friend to have around you at all times and you know in the mission they say that it's you know your companion and you know that we have a relationship where it's our duty to protect each other and you know we always try to be the best of friends and I like all my companions because they're just really good friends and they we all watch out for each other and help each other out and it's just a, a good bond of friendship, and I really appreciate it. Mm. You know, elders, when they come on a mission, they're away from their parents for years and from their family, and that sometimes can be, uh, the, the parents miss them. The parents love them and raise them and so on. So I thought I'd give you an opportunity to see if there's anything in particular you'd like to say to your special parents. Well, uh, I just wanted to say uh, uh, real quick, that I love my mom and I love my dad. My dad's a good, hard-working father and I really appreciate him for all that he does for me. And I really appreciate my mom as well for all that she's done for me as well as I've grown up throughout the years. She's taken good care of me and I love you guys very much. Thank you, Elder Wood Young. Um, it's really nice to have you here and be willing, have you be willing to answer these questions and take your valuable time. It might be that you have younger brothers and sisters, uh, and now that you've been out for a while and had the experiences you've had, what kind of thing would you say to them or to any other young people who will see this video, because undoubtedly your family will share it with friends and relatives, to, uh, to excite them about serving a mission? Yeah, I have a, a lot of nieces and nephews and a lot of friends as well who are younger than me. And, you know, what I'd say to them is related to what I said, you know, first thing on the question of why do I like a mission? And, you know, if you want to grow and you want to learn how to improve upon yourself, and if that's what you're all about, then I'd encourage you to come on a mission because you will, your eyes will be open so much, and it's very joyful out here, and uh, especially in the, in the studio here, it's very beautiful. <laughs> and uh, it's a lovely experience and you really get to know all types and you know different assortments of people and it's a lot of you know wisdom to take in you know from all the people I've already met you know so many stories of you know life that they've had and it's just really enlightening and really you know unexplainable really but it's a very uh, very joyful experience. You know, I came to California 30 years ago, and that was my first time coming to live, and it's very different from some parts of the world. 
and and the I had been in Utah for many years before that, and this is just a it's the weather helps make part of it perhaps and the the mixture of people and cultural backgrounds. Anyway, so now that you've been here for a while, how do you feel about California and Californians? Uh, I was gonna say first thing I noticed when I got off the plane and I was in California in this northern area of California. Uh, is it's very beautiful here. You know, where I come from, it's very pretty, certainly. Lots of mountains, and you know, it's a different kind of beautiful, but I really like it out here because there's a lot of trees, and you know, I've seen a, a couple redwoods while I've been out, just that, that have been migrated into this area. It's very beautiful, very green, and the air is, you know, very humid compared to where I'm from, and it's just a really beautiful area, and I, you know, I love the Californian people. They're good, great people, and I can see how much God loves them. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, Elder Young, that your mom and dad would be proud of? Uh, probably my laundry, yes, definitely. <laughs> What's your favorite part of missionary life besides sharing the gospel? Um, I really like meeting members of the ward. Whenever I, you know, have gone out and served members of the ward or gone to dinner, you know, like I have the past few days, and just today we had a service project where we helped a member of the ward. I really like interacting with those people because I like seeing, you know, all walks of life and where all people come from, and I've seen so much diversity, and it's so cool, and it's awesome, and I really like that, and I'd say that's my favorite thing besides preaching the gospel is... Uh, meeting other members of the ward. Hmm. What can you tell us of your testimony of the sacred book, the Book of Mormon? I know that the Book of Mormon is true and that it is another testament of Christ. And, you know, as I've started rereading it from the beginning, I can already, you know, see things that I didn't pick up on before, you know, the last time I read it. And every time I've read it, it's new insight, and it's just wonderful, hmm. lovely book. It's the most true book of any book there is in the world. Thank you for sharing that testimony. How do you feel about the prophet Joseph Smith? He was a good, hard-working man. I know that he is a prophet as well. He, you know, made so many sacrifices to serve the Lord, and I feel like as missionaries, he is a prime example of what we want to accomplish and what we want to be is the prophet Joseph Smith. Right? He was, you know, the first missionary in his time. And he, you know, really served the Lord and gave everything he had to him. And I feel like, you know, that's what we're supposed to do as missionaries and it's what we're entitled to do. And I know that as we look to Joseph Smith, both as a prophet and as a fellow missionary, you know, we are we will be you know, inspired by his story and you know, want to improve. And he's a good man. That's wonderful. I feel the same way. How do you feel about your Savior, Jesus Christ? I'm so grateful for him. And he's done a lot for me. And he's done a lot for everyone here. In fact, when I was reading my scriptures the other day, I was reading in John 3, and I think it's around verses 16 through 18, but I really liked how it talked about how God, Heavenly Father, sent His Son that the world might be saved. And I just love that He came down here to save us. And, you know, I'm very grateful for that. And my testimony of the Savior Jesus Christ, you know, can't be more strong than it is now. I mean, I'm sure it could be, but I just know that He is uh, truly our Savior and Redeemer and that He loves us all very much. And it's a love that is unexplainable and uncomprehendable by man and it's just fantastic. I don't know how to explain it. It is truly, you know, a work and a wonder how much He loves us. Wow. Incredible. Is there any other aspect of your testimony that you'd like to share with our worldwide audience? Well, I know that <clears throat> excuse me, I know that as we pray and we seek revelation for ourselves and guidance, I know that Heavenly Father will bless us with whatever you know we need, whatever attribute you wish to develop 
and preach my gospel, chapter 6, it talks about Christ-like attributes and how we should strive in our lives to develop those attributes. And, you know, whatever attribute you wish to develop in your life, I know that as you pray for help with that, He will help you, and He'll help you with anything. And I know that the power of prayer is phenomenal, and you can accomplish things with the power of prayer that the world would have you think is impossible. And, you know, these things I say, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Thank you for coming and spending your time with us, Elder Young, and for bearing testimony of the eternal gospel of Jesus Christ. We will wrap up this interview now, and we thank our worldwide audience for joining us on this uh, interview, and we hope you've gained from it as we have.